What's up dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? Today is confession day. Uh, time to come clean. I know that a lot of you out there are avid gardeners and you have excellent looking fronts of your houses and your back porches look amazing, you know, and you've really got it all going on. Today is just time to come clean because I don't have it all going on and I really actually kind of need help. So I'm not a very designy type of girl, you know what I mean? So I don't know. Um, I guess a lot of times on the internet things look perfect and they're not. And I'm going to show you guys today that even though you guys may think that my collection on the inside is really nice, which I really appreciate you guys thinking that, but today we're going to look at some reality, some cold, some cold, harsh realities out here. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the most embarrassing thing about my house right now, which is my front porch. Right now we're on the back porch. You guys have never seen this area before. If you're hearing road noise, sorry about that for today, but change of scenery. Maybe you appreciate it. First, we're gonna look at my front porch, which is an absolute nightmare. And it's been that way since last spring when I injured my back. So the goal is today to strap on a back brace, get out in the sun, even though it's a little cool, and try to get some work done out there because I just, if someone ends up coming to visit me after this whole thing is over and they see my front area, they're gonna be like, this is a lie. This girl is a liar. She don't know nothing about plants because I'm telling you, it looks that bad. Let's go have a look at the most embarrassing parts of my plant journey. All right, so before you guys take a look at what's going on behind me, just know that this neighbor right over here hates my guts, and this neighbor right over here is probably working on that sensation of hating my guts. That's because I haven't taken care of my front area for the past year. When you get physically hurt, sometimes it just puts your whole life on pause, and then you just have to reassess at a later date. And my back's definitely not at 100%. But I definitely like to take care of a little bit of it today because I, it drives me crazy knowing how much it irritates everybody else. I'm sure this is a nice neighborhood. You know, they don't deserve this type of front porch. So, let's go take a look. Okay, there's some happy birds out here. So, sorry if it's really loud, but this right here is my front porch area. Look at it and all its disgustingness, all its nastiness. Look at that ugly ass blue hose hanging on the side of the house. Not my idea. Um, yeah, it's really just garbage. Let's go in and take a closer look at what kind of garbage we got going on. I think there might be actual garbage, so let's go have a look. Okay, so when you first get right up here to the rim of it, you can see these cute little uh, mushroom lights that at one time were super duper cute. And there's the little light sensor there that makes them solar powered, but we had to pay someone to come weed eat when my back was injured last spring and he busted up the, um, the little sensor pretty good. And these were not cheap, by the way. These were pretty expensive little mushroom deals. I've got another sensor right there. You can see, look, you gotta see the buried mushroom right there. And, oop, nope. And then another, I think, little buried mushroom. Yep, there it is right over there in the corner. So plants-wise, I've got a big old clematis right here and it's just completely out of control. Um, it's actually choked out this little Bradford pear and I've got it kind of trailing up the Bradford pear, just kind of using the dead wood to um, make something for the clematis to climb. Really, really close to having some really cute blooms, big, white, like gigantic dinner plate sized clematis blooms they get really huge the foliage on this plant is absolutely gorgeous and it's just so sad that it has to be out here in this unkept little area right off from that clematis is this juniper evergreen that I planted last spring and it looked a lot cuter then and I also planted another juniper right here and guess what that one died because I didn't come out and water it and I also didn't install any kind of irrigation system which wasn't smart but you know this is kind of like was my first go every place I've ever lived didn't have like much of a garden area so this was kind of my first go look down here you can see I got as far as putting down the weed fabric so not a ton of weeds came up during the inattention you can see a ton of dead leaves you can see my little shroom decoration that's taken a fall no one can be bothered to pick it back up there's my rake where I attempted these little uh, bulb shoots that are coming up are my gladiolus that I planted last spring as well they put on a beautiful show I actually have 
back there in the back, these are the tomato um, stabilizers or whatever, and I use those to hold up my gladiolas because they get so big. The key is you're supposed to put them up when you're done with them. Look, there's a dead palm, and there's a dead, I can't even remember what that is. It got spider mites most likely and came out here to die because couldn't deal with it at the time. This is the black mulch that I thought would really bounce well off of the um, white siding of the house. Never got that far. A beautiful little dandelion. Isn't that cute? So cute. Okay. So over on the right side of the bed, we have a little mini rose right here. Casey picked that up for me last year at the grocery store and it had beautiful either white or red blooms. There's two of them. Other little red rose is right here. St survived all winter long as well, which is crazy. This big boy right here, I've known the name of this forever, like my entire life, but for some reason standing here filming this, I, it can't, it won't come to my tongue. So that thing, you guys know what it is. Oh my gosh, can't even believe that. I can't think of the name. This right over here, is the bare root rose bush that Casey picked up for me last spring. You can see here that it's actually starting to put some buds on, so that's really nice. But I am an inexperienced rose grower, and I think this might be mosaic virus starting to form. Not 100% sure. I have to do some research today, and maybe some heavy pruning is in order. Not 100% sure. Then there's the back area, a little walkway. That's a couple of plants. That's a uh, lava kiss coleus that just wasn't going to make it on the inside and that's a hosta that also wasn't making it on the inside I don't know what that blue pot ever was and then you know the two two bed dead plants row and then there's our tomato cages and stuff back there oh look there's an actual cup that's nice I probably would have picked that up before I filmed today there's my lopsided welcome mat because that's how jacked up this area is and there's also like a pile of leaves and debris in the corner. Windows are dirty. Moral of the story, kiddos, is this whole area looks like crap. And today I really wanna get out here and I want to try to take care of it. I feel super inspired when I watch um, Pam's Pretty Plants. Uh, it's Pam Ella on Instagram and she has done so much cool stuff out in her uh, garden outside of where she lives. And I just really can't take the shame of this out outdoor area any longer. So today's the day. We're gonna get out here and we're gonna try to do some work. I'm gonna put a back brace on, which makes me look like a busted can of biscuits. <laughs> it's hard to come to grips with that as a woman. All right, let's head out to the back porch. And this is what it looks like out here. It's not that cute, is it? No, no, it's not. Peapot just heard me. She's gonna come running up those stairs. Hi, Peapot. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, Peapot. He's so cute. I'm showing everybody all my garbage places. I'm kind of back up here. This is as far as I can back up. This is pretty much like what you see when you walk out. This gorgeous little grill, you know, which by the way, if you have any cleaning suggestions for how to clean the surface of the outside of the grill, I would appreciate that. My gardening supplies over here. I've got some Monstera propagations that I just recently brought outside. And let's see. Down here at the bottom, we have an aloe vera plant, two different aloe vera plants, as a matter of fact, sitting by the grill. I just recently brought these out, by the way. I told you guys I never take inside plants outside, so this is a whole new world for me. Sitting right over here is the little philodendron baby that Lara Loves Leaves sent to me in an unboxing that you guys saw. It's got a little baby leaf coming out, and I just felt like I was not able to give it enough light. So if it gets cold, I'm gonna bring this little chunky monkey back inside. Then you can see that the, the cushions on my chair have been flipped up because I'm actually working on cleaning these. They were covered in pollen because we don't have any kind of furniture covers out here. So I hosed it down with the soap and the water, and then I kind of leaned it back to dry. But this is the only chair that I got done yesterday. That's it, and then I was pootered out. So, I also have a golden pothos and some orchids out here that I'm gonna try to trick into blooming. I think it's too late in the season, but this may be their permanent home out here, um, unless it goes and dips down to freezing, which I will get, bring them in. Those are trash cans. That's a dirty old rug. Here's a dirty ass couch. This is the stuff I'm talking about. Pollen, dog hair, kids coming out here and just spilling whatever the hell they want to all over the couch. It's a freaking mess. 
it's a freaking mess. You're facing back towards the house. You can see me in the reflection. Hello. Um, you can see my my starfish Sansevieria is just chilling out here, and one of my Diffenbachias is also chilling out here. We've got the food and water bowls, little fold-out chair because guess what? The chairs are wet, and that's the other chair that I also need to clean. This right here is a disgusting and dirty water feature where you just get like a little pond um, fountain and then you stick the little pond fountain down into a pot, big plastic pot that doesn't have any kind of drainage holes. We've got like a piece of rock holding it from floating and this is, and that is most likely mold that I have to clean with a magic eraser. So isn't that disgusting? Yep, that's out here. If you go down the ways a little bit, you can actually see that's the outside. That's the outside of my bedroom window. You can see my begonia terrarium. You can see my shelving and my lights up in there. That's my whole bedroom area. During the winter, I kind of block off this door because we don't use it at all. Like I am going nowhere near that door and it's getting towards the season where I'm gonna move that terrarium and have Casey put it somewhere else to where I can open my bedroom door and uh, let all the fresh air in. Over here at the far side of the porch, I've got chicken wire to keep the dogs from cheating when I'm having Having them to stay out on the back porch they go across this little crossy bit here so I've got two things of chicken wire to keep them from you can see they've tore it up they give zero shits this right here is my other little water feature also filled with gross moldy pond scum that's a dirty broom and a shovel and a poop scooper and it's inside a pot that just has dirt in it and that's a native tree that has decided to grow there in that pot you just can't stop people you know can't stop them. Hi, Peapot. You good girl. And then you're walking along the porch here, and you guys can see where I try. You know what I mean? Like, I tried. That's a doggy gate over there. You know, life. Life, people. The coolest part about this porch is this right here. And that's the coolest part of this porch, which trust me, it is not lost on me what an absolute gem of a porch this is. It is not lost on me how lucky I am to have it, but it is making me feel guilty that I'm not like creative enough as it were to like really make this, make, make this like, this area like really pop you know what I mean like I'm just not capable I'm like a dude when it comes to that stuff I don't have an eye for design all the colors mishmash and mosh pit all up together it doesn't make sense when I do it but when I see shows like uh, Laura from Garden Answer or Pam's Pretty Plants like I was telling you about like it makes me feel super inspired so what I'd like to do is get a rug start with that as like base and base colors and then move on from there right and then um, I'd like to get some hanging decorations and maybe some like boho curtains out here see how it turns into like gypsy that fast that fast I don't know so be sure and leave your comments and suggestions down below I'm not gonna be offended whatsoever um, if you are living the same type of lifestyle that I am right now please do not be ashamed we are only one person I cannot be you know a homeschool teacher a cook a wife a, I can't be a YouTube I can't do it all right so something's gonna fall off and this is what's fallen off for me the front and the back porches not to mention my kids rooms oh, my God. oh you both so good oh you so good oh my god I love everybody who loves me who loves me thank you guys Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming by and checking out my come and clean my confession time about how crappy things can actually look around my house. Don't feel bad if that's how things look at your house. We're, we all work at our own pace, okay? So you've been warned. If you come over when all this stuff is over and it's not done out there, you've been warned. So this is what it's like. And don't feel bad if this is what your stuff looks like too because we're all just humans. And guess what? Not everybody has all day to do that stuff, you know? We love you guys. Thanks for letting me share. Peace out. Later, taters. Bye. Yeah.
throat. Ow, that's so great. <laughs> you too, boy. The wealth that I need comes from within me If I look a little closer then I see it in me Shining brightly, these gifts are igniting Give it to me proudly from Almighty God Thank you for your mercy Oh, you give it to me freely Oh, and even though I don't deserve you You choose to pursue me Hey, I said thank you for your mercy You give it to me freely Oh, and even though I don't deserve you Free man, I don't care what they will say, cuz I am free from these. 